Have you ever wondered how to make Cinnabon cinnamon rolls? Well today I'll be showing you how to make the perfect ones. First and foremost, you want to grab your mixer or else if you don't have a mixer, grab a whisk. First, I recommend using the coated flat beater attachment. Next, measure out one cup of milk and microwave it till warm. Once your milk is warm, put it in the bowl. And then take your packet of active dry yeast and pour it in there as well. Now you're going to measure out your white granulated sugar, a half a cup, one third cup of butter, and two eggs. Make sure the butter is room temperature. Now mix on low to medium until everything is combined. Now that everything is combined, now you're going to mix out your attachments to the bread one. Now you're going to put in 4 cups of flour and 1 teaspoon of salt. Once you put all the dry ingredients in, mix on medium. After a couple seconds, you will see that it turns into a doughy texture. Then you're just going to keep mixing until the flour is all combined. Once the mixture is all mixed, it should look like this. Then you're going to grab another glass bowl and then you're going to spray it with Pam. Once that, you're going to take all the dough out. And then you're going to roll it into a ball. Then you're going to put it at the bottom of the bowl and then you're going to take a towel and put it over top. Then you're going to let the dough sit in a warm area and let it rise for an hour. While the dough is rising, you can start to make your filling. For making the filling, you're going to use one cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon, and one warm stick of butter. You're going to take the whisk attachment and you're going to blend it until mixed on medium to high. Make sure to scrape down the edges halfway through. Once it's done mixing, it should look a little something like this. After your dough is done rising for an hour, preheat your oven to 375. Now you're going to start rolling out the dough. You want to make sure the surface is clean, and then you're going to take a half a cup of flour and spread it out. Now that all the flour is spread out, you're going to take out the dough and knead it for five to seven minutes. After kneading for five to seven minutes, take your rolling pin and roll it out to a rectangle. Once rolled out, it should be as this big and it should be this thick. Next, you're going to take the filling that you made earlier and you're going to spread it out on the dough. While spreading it, you want to make sure that you get the filling to the close to the edges as possible. Once the filling is all spread it out, you want to start rolling it. Now you're going to grab some floss and get it to about one foot. And then you're going to cut off each end. And then it should come off just like this. Then you can take these two chunks and throw them away. Now you're going to grab yourself a knife and then you're going to measure out 12 even chunks. Now take the floss from earlier and then you're going to cut along each line until you get 12 rolls. and then they should come out just like this. Now you should have yourself somewhat 12 evenly cinnamon rolls. Now you should grab yourself a glass circle pan and spray it with Pam away from the cinnamon rolls. Now take the cinnamon rolls and outline the pan with them. Once you put the cinnamon rolls in the pan, you're going to take another towel and put them over them and let them rise for another 20 minutes. 
while those are rising, you are going to start cleaning up your area. Now that the cinnamon rolls are completely risen, you are going to take a half a cup of heavy whipping cream and then microwave it until warm. Now you are going to take the lukewarm heavy whipping cream and pour them over the cinnamon rolls. Once the cinnamon rolls are all covered in the heavy whipping cream, you are going to put them in the oven for 20 to 22 minutes. Once the cinnamon rolls are done baking, they should come out looking a little bit like this. Now you can turn off your oven and now we're going to start the frosting while they cool down. Now that the cinnamon rolls are finally cooling down, you are now going to start making the frosting. For the frosting, you're going to be using powdered sugar, cream cheese, vanilla extract, and then butter. Now you're going to take your stand up mixer one more time. For the frosting, you're going to use 6 ounces of cream cheese, 2 cups of powdered sugar, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and 1 third cup of butter. Now you're going to mix this all until it's all blended. When the frosting is all mixed, it should look a little something like this. Now that your icing is all done, you are now going to take your icing spatula and take out a little bit and ice all of the cinnamon rolls. Once all of them are frosted, now you're able to scoop them all out and serve them to whoever you would like. Now the next time you're thinking of something to make for breakfast, think of cinnamon cinnamon rolls. Enjoy.